everyone. This time we'll be looking at time map view. So we're going to go ahead and create a new time map. Once you're in, you'll get your time scale options presented to you. These will allow you to choose the days that are presented to you in the map itself. I'm going to leave it on weekdays and weekends. You choose the start date for your project and the duration, which can go up to eight weeks. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a milestone by double clicking on the empty canvas. You can create a milestone, a task, or a swim lane. You can also create these things using the toolbar at the top of the page. So we're going to name our milestone, and you can see we're given a flag. By hitting Add Task, that creates our first task. Now, from here, this is the goal line. What we want to do is choose our deadline. So that's going to say February the 24th. And then from our task, we can draw using this plus sign. So we can drag tasks out, like so. Give them a name, code development for this one. And then we can expand the task for the duration that we'd like it to last. So from the same original task, we can create extra tasks that all go streamline into one. And we'll continue to work backwards from code development to design changes. Here we go. And that branches off into two of tasks of its own, drawing back all the way to the Monday with our design mockups. And here you can already see very, very quickly, we have a nice time map taking place. Bug fixes there. And now you can see here that we can create a task separate from the main milestone without drawing out. And then from the pop-up menu, you can assign it to a milestone, which connects it with the rest. And then using connect task, you can connect that up to the rest of the milestone. You're also able to drag your tasks past the milestone date and it will expand the milestone to the new deadline. In this case, you can see I went from Friday the 24th of February to the Monday. So now I'm going to very quickly create a new milestone with new tasks using the methods that I've shown you, just so you can see how quickly and easily it can be done. And with this final task here, I'm going to call that banner designs. And you can assign it to the milestone. But then if you need it assigned to a different milestone, you can simply remove it or change it to the milestone you need it on. I'm going to go ahead and just move that down there with the rest of them. So the next thing is our swim lanes. Here you can see we've created one called Creative Media. That's going to be for all of our design aspects of the project. And this one's called Marketing, for all the more marketing. Now, with the swim lanes, they're easily adjustable. You just simply move over to the left and drag them either up or down. And you can even swap them around very easily. So now we're going to organize our tasks into the swim lanes that we've created and show off our time scale bar. Now this bar will tick forward once a day and gray out any tasks that were due for completion on that day. Alongside this, we have our task status indicators, which allow you to assign a progress status to each of your tasks. Green for go, Red for stopped, yellow for in progress, and the tick for completed. But ultimately, the meanings are up to you. As time moves forward, that becomes very helpful in determining how different tasks are coming along within the project. You can more precisely gauge a task's progress using the task bar in the right-hand side. By using the task percentage, you'll see the bar slowly fill up. And you can also assign its status directly from this side menu. From here, you can also choose and change your start and end dates for the project as shown. Nice and easy, that'll snap to the days that you want it to finish on. And as per the other views, you can add images and icons to your tasks. I'm gonna add a letter to this email task here. You'll see the task will expand with the image. And we're gonna add a nice little check mark to the verify 
task and expand that like so. So images fit very nicely within time map view, just as they do in the other views. And you can also use icons to give yourself more specific information very quickly. So for this example, you could imagine that the numbers represent the amount of people that have been assigned to the task, just to get you an idea of the priority. You can attach notes and links to your tasks, as will be represented by this little icon that pops up just underneath. And when you assign tags to a task, such as this developer's tag, a similar icon will appear. And the last thing you may have noticed throughout this video is our hints. You can turn these on and off at will so they don't clutter up your workspace if you're already familiar with how the functions work. And that pretty much sums up time map view. Just remember to always save your work.